Well, I'm Straw of the Battle Hammer. Um, normally two of us, me and him, but because of lockdown, um, I'm on my own. So, first of all, I'd like to do a big shout out to Parky. Hope you're okay, fella. Um, and let's sort this all out so we can get gaming again, eh, people? Come on. <laughs> so, speaking of isolation and pandemics and everything, what are we playing today? Well, today we are doing a solo Last Days of the Zombie Apocalypse. Yeah. Zombie killing time, people. How excited are we about that? Quite, because I do like killing in zombies. I like zombie games. Zombie games amuse me. Um, this was bought for us by a guy called Craig. Thank you, Craig. Um, been meaning to play it for a while. Never quite got round to it. Because there's always something else to play, isn't there? Um, but then, fortunately, someone pointed out to me there are solo rules for it. And they were suddenly available online. I didn't know they were in the uh, expansion book. Uh, seasons, which I've now just got hold of. Love that, like the idea of that. Full on campaign. Um, so I'm not going to go too deeply into the whys and the wherefores of my gang um, just yet because I'm just going to have a playthrough and then we can see how it works from there, can't we? But I'm basically using uh, a gang of bikers which came from the others. It was a uh, another game, another game. Um, and they were a Kickstarter exclusive in that, I think. Um, so they're all down here waiting to be cracking on with the zombies. Had to quickly paint them all yesterday, uh, so they are all painted. But it's all out there. It's Everything's out there for today. It will all get pointed out to you during the video. Um, I hope you have as much fun as I hope I'm going to have. And let's see how many of these rules I can screw up. So, first of all, before then, a word from our sponsors, which is just basically me and Parker again, and then uh, come join us into the action. So, see you in a bit. And here we are, the sponsors of this uh, glorious video. If you want to help out the Battle Hammer before we start our gaming goodness... But this normally goes at the end of a video. I know, we've moved it. Why? Uh, because we can, can, can. Oh. So if you want to help us out, uh, we have various ways you can do that, and um, I'll put them in the doobly-doo uh, crotch box down below. Can I just interrupt a moment and say, you can. the backdrop does not look like the Battle Cave. It does not, because we are at Wildstorm Games! <laughs> Why are we at Wildstorm Games? Well, because... It's our favourite game shop! It is, and they're one of our sponsors in the doobly-doo down below. If you go to <gasps> buy stuff through that doobly-doo for Wildstorm Games, um, you'll get a potentially an extra discount and then we you get might. a little, little pat on the back as well so that's super nice so if you want to help us out you can do that what are other ways they can help us out patreon patreon we have a patreon thing you can go onto there and you can donate as little as a dollar a month you uh, type bastards if you do five you become a battle hammer booze hound and get, um, extra special hugs from us and if you donate a million then you're no crazy idea what rich and stupid oh, just probably <laughs> will last a week <laughs> Because I'll have drank myself to death, probably. Mm, and, all the, and all the little midgets with their drugs on oh, trays. Drug, drug trays, yeah. It, wouldn't, it, would, it would not be good. Uh, so there's Patreon. So not only that, but if you go on Patreon, you can just do a one-off payment. You want to, yeah. You can do a one-off payment, and then you can immediately cancel it, and then you'll have done Once it. we've got the money, yeah, obviously. Send us your money. Um, Send us your fucking money! We've also got an Amazon wish list. You uh, do? So you can go to the link down below, the Amazon wish list, and there's a bunch of stuff that we are hoping to film in the future and games we want to play and you can just go hey I think they should have that and then buy it for us there and it'll get sent to this mark. I did put the Superstar Destroyer on that. Did you? Yeah, just, in no, case. yeah just in case someone feels really rich and goes ah oh, what the hell. Good call. <laughs> now what else is there? There is a uh, Wayland Games affiliate link. If you uh, do your shopping from Wayland Games then you can go via that and then we get a little uh, pattern back from them as well which is super nice so you can do that. Um, the other one is coffee. coffee. Uh, Ko hyphen F fi, I think it Where is. That? You can just buy us a coffee, which would be a, a one-off donation of I think it's three dollars. Three dollars or something. Um, so you know you can buy us a beer. Uh, so you can go through that as well. Yes. Also, there's our social media links. There'll be a link to our Facebook page and our Twitter feed as well. And Instagram. 
Possibly. We've got one of them as well. We've got an Instagram account. Yes, we do. Cool. So that. So they're all the ways you can help us and get in contact with us. And get in contact with us. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Back to the studio. <laughs> Back to the studio. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's do this then, shall we? Now, the game is done in phases. So the first phase is the menace phase. Any game that starts with a menace phase, you've got to start to like, haven't you? Right, so the menace phase works thus. It's broken down into a couple of bits. There's noise tokens, ammo tokens, and then zombie activation. Well, none of my lot have activated yet, so there's no noise. They haven't done any shooting yet, so there's no ammo checks. Um, but there's the zombie activation. Now, what happens with this is the zombies have got line of sight to non-zombie models. They move their full distance. Uh, zombies have got an action points or number of five, which means they can move up to five inches. So I've already done those ones, moved them forward. I've done these ones, moved them. And those ones over there can't see anybody, so they just mooch around. So that's all good. That's all we do for the zombies at the start of this. Obviously, it's about to go a little bit tits up when my lot start moving, because the way the solo rules work, because I'm not uh, going up against another gang of survivalists for goodies, etc., um, they have a tendency to shoot first, ask questions later. So I can move them and everything as normal, but then their personalities will kick in when it comes to the shooting and the close combat. Now these are all selfish characters, apart from Freya, who is selfless because she is a medic. So basically what will happen is these boys will just open up on any zombie they see. They will use the uh, they will use whatever weapons they've got to the fullest capability. So if they've got machine guns, they will fire the whole bloody lot on full automatic, they will fire as many shots as they can, so expect lots of noise from this small group. So, supply tokens, there's one here, one here, one here, one there, and one over there. To win the game, I've got to get them and get off the table. Pretty easy, you think, huh? Wrong! And up here, here's one of my other boys from the box set, he's not in the in this team because it's too many points, but he's just standing up there watching them see how badly they're going to fuck up. So, starts with me then on my turn, or what's called the action phase, action phase. So I can start moving on my lot. So I'm going to start with the doggo. He's a noisy character, so he automatically starts, makes a noise as he's going. So he's got an action points of eight, so that's going to move him eight to there. Mark it as he goes. Tokens come from zombie side. I'm so glad I kept all those bits. So who's going to go next? I think Loki is going to go next and he has got six action points. So I could do various things with the action points, but all I'm going to be using them for is just moving. I'm not running because running makes noise. So for now, just going creepy, creepy quietly. We're hunting web. No, we're hunting zombies, not webbits. So, back to the bulk of the group who can see some zombos all the way down the street and they've got a couple of lurkers past the phone boxes. So, let's go do some things. Um, I can't remember what the rules were for climbing over obstacles, so I'm just going to take an inch off because it's only a small obstacle. So this is Tia, and he has got, ooh, he's got submachine gun. That's six action points, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six gets me to there. We'll take that off for just jumping over the fence. Or is it interactive? Let me just check that. Let me just quickly check, because the one thing I have noticed is this book is laid out lovely. Makes me very happy. I do like rule books that are nice and easy. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Moving through difficult terrain. There you go. Uh, that's not difficult terrain though, is it? Climb a climbable surface. Yeah, we'll do that then. So, two points to hop over that. That will put him to there. No noise has been made from that. Noise will be very important in, as you see, the next menace phase. So Father Odin, 
He's going to scuttle forward four because he hops over that as well. So that'll be four action points and two for the climb. Freya, she's going to do exactly the same. So basically they're all going to hop over the barricade. So they've all moved four inches and taken two extra action points for getting over the barriers. While Loki and the dog are heading off this way making all the noise. Which you thought would be great because they're all going to go over this way with the zombies carrying the dog barking. Yeah! But this lot are about to cause havoc as they open fire. So, with the solo rules, as I said, they're going to fire their weapons and using the full rate of fire, etc, etc. So, we'll start with um, Tia, and he actually can't see anything. So, he's done. Father Odin, nah, I can see you, zombie pig. He can see one just here. So, measure the range, make sure he's in range. Yes, he is. So, he's using a surplus assault rifle. I've given him all what the models have got. So, it might be a bit overkill, but it's going to be making a shitload of noise. So, two noise counters because it's got a rate of fire two. Two ammo counters because that's how many shots I'm firing. And the first shot is it's a D6 plus my firearm skill. My firearm skill is three. Um, no bonuses or modifiers for the first one. So it's three plus six is nine. So that is a definite hit. <laughs> now, because zombies work slightly differently to other survivors, I roll a D6 to see if we kill it or not. And I've rolled a three, so I haven't killed it. But I've put three points of knockback on it which reduces its action points for next turn. That's my first shot. And then the second shot is minus one because of the rate of fire. So my uh, firearm skill is now two. So two plus four is six. So that doesn't hit. So first hit, wins the old zombie, gives it a bit of a wobble, doesn't put it down and it is still there. And I've made a bucket load of noise. Wonderful. So, next we have uh, Heimdall, and he can see the same zombie. And again, he should be within range, because it's 18 inches for the rifles. Yes, he is. So again, he's making two points of noise, and two shots. So, first shot is three plus three is six, so that's no bloody hit. Ooh, dear. And the second one, we'll put my death skill down to two, plus two is four, so again, no hits on that zombie. Boo, boo, boo. Uh, Fenris, he can see the same zombie. So the same thing's gonna happen. He's gonna blast, make lots of noise and two ammo. So first shot is three plus two is five, so it doesn't hit. Uh, second shot puts my skill down to two plus six, however. Two plus six, come on people, two plus six is eight. So that does hit because target number is always seven. So now roll to see if we kill the zombie, we get a four, so we don't, so that Gives it another four knockdown points. It's got an AP of five, so that knocks it down. So its next action will just be getting up because it has no action points left. Bop, five, done. And then we have Freya, who can't see anybody, so she doesn't have to fire. That's cool. Loki is all the way over here, and he can't see anything either. So then it goes to the close combat phase. Of which, fortunately, I'm quite glad about. There is no close combat. So then, that would go to the end of turn phase. We'd do a breaking point test, which is to see whether your gang bottle out or not. Fortunately, I haven't taken any casualties, so we haven't got to worry about that. However, there is a sneaky little thing they just snuck in for the solo rules, which is an event table. So, 
we just put a couple of dice on a roof somewhere so we know what turn we're on. This is turn one. So, so we roll d6 and we add one. One and one is two on the table. Two is all quiet. The dead continue their march towards you, but nothing untoward takes place for you. So, not too bad a start, he says, only having knocked a zombie down. However, we have made a shit load of noise. So, what happens now, you say? Well, now it goes to turn two. Do -do -do -do. So, again, we start with the menace phase. So, to start with, we roll for noise tokens. So, let me just quickly remind myself. Right, so during the step of the menace phase, each, to each model with a noise token rolls a d6 and add the number of noise tokens they have. Uh, any number of... The, any model that receives a number of seven or more will draw a zombie to the battlefield. Take a zombie and place it on the open edge of the table nearest the model that drew to the combat zone. It will then be activated like any other zombie during the zombie phase. Whoopsie! So, um, mm, this is where the fun kicks off. So, we'll go with uh, this chap first, he's on plus two. It's not, it's not two and one, it's nothing. And these then go. Well, the ammo stays. Next, Heimdall, four plus two is six, nothing, so that goes. Odin, Father Odin, two plus two is nothing. And then the doggo, <laughs> nothing. So even though we have made a shitload of noise, no other extra zombies have come charging into the fray. So next, that's the noise tokens done. Next is ammo tokens. Okay, so what we have to do is we roll a d6. Uh, add the number of tokens. If the number two is equal to or greater than the firearm's reload number, it requires reloading. Ugh, that's not good. Now, fortunately, for, very fortunately, all of mine are armed with the same weapon, so I haven't got to bother keep remembering lots of different stuff. So, Surplus Assault Rifle has a reload of 10 and these tokens stay on. So here, Odin, one plus two is three, nothing. This one, six, eight, that's okay. And this one, five, seven, that's okay. So plenty of bullets in the guns. It's all good gravy. Uh, ammo tokens and then it's zombie activation. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Do, do, do. Now, zombies can only do certain activations because they're zombies. Can't do that. Well, they can do that. That's okay then. So, there's two points to do this. So, this zombie here has got action points of five. We take off two. Now hold on, one to get to there, two, three, five, so she climbs over the car, gets to there, he will go two, two, and one get a jump down, he will stand up, he stands up, he stands up, oh shut up, then over here, <coughs> hello, these ones have nine of sight, so they can be doing their all action point quota of five. Uh, 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 one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and those ones still don't have line of sight. Hold on, how does that work? They don't have line of sight. But uh, if no line of sight move towards the closest model that tested for a noise token during the last turn. So the closest model is that doggo or 
38 to dog Irish and do 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 ah, they can start shuffling that away towards the group uh oh uh oh spaghetti oh so uh Uh, 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 one, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh dear. That's just suddenly taken on a darker, darker turn, hasn't it? Okay, I won't zoom in just yet for you, but probably very, very soon we'll be zooming in so you can see all of the grief that's about to happen. So it's action phase. Oh dear. Okay, right. Let's go with the doggo. So the doggo's got eight action points. So it's going to go running over here. Obviously, he can smell the supplies. Supplies! Oh dear. So Loki has got to move. They've got six action points. If I get to about there, I'll have line of sight to that zombie. So he moves to there. Dun 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 dun. Oh, this is a f this is fun already. I don't think it's going to be this fun, but it's suddenly getting a bit terrifying. So Tia is going to step forward just to there. Um, right, I have a plan, I have a plan. Freya is moving there because she's after the supplies. So Father Odin is just going to go to there. Then uh, Fenris. Fenris is moving right up because he wants to cover Freya. I think they've got a thing going on. And then Heimdall will just move to there so we can get a line of sight to that zombie over there. So, that's everybody moved. So it then goes to the shooting phase. Right then, so Loki has got a nice shot on that zombie. Range of 12, which is exactly what the range of his pistol is. Uh, Semi-automatic, rate of fire 2. So, two noise tokens, two ammo tokens. So my, my firearms ability is 3. So for this first shot, it's just a straightforward 3 plus... Four, five, six, seven. So that <coughs> is a hit. Let's see if we do any damage to it though. Damage is a three, so it's no kill, but it's three. But it's not back, not back, not back, not back, not back, not back of one. So. <coughs> <coughs> Then my second shot will be a firearm skill of two because it's minus one for the first shot. Plus five is seven, so we've hit it again. Right, we'll see if we do any more damage. Come on, Ugh, another one point. <coughs> That's not very helpful. I was hoping to take one of them out at least. Boo, I say. We just check. Set us up, not back two, SMG, not back one. Okay, so we're gonna go with Tia with his surplus submachine gun. It's got a rate of fire three. Oh good lord. So come on you undead bastards! Come on, you fucking want some of me! Ah! So he opens up. So first shot is on his basic skill, which is three. Plus six is a hit. <laughs> Roll to see what we do damage wise. Come on. In the fucking head! <laughs> uh, zombie goes down. Now that would 
I believe, get him some experience points. But I'm not bothering too much about that just yet. I'm just trying to get a grip of the rules. But now the rest of the shots can carry on. So that's the first one. So my next shot will be at him on the car. I'm at minus one to my firearm skill for this. So I'm at two. That's only a four, so that's nothing. And again, minus one for the last shot. So it's th uh, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, close. <laughs> Puts the first one down. Yes! Uh, <laughs> sorry. That's quite satisfying when you kill a zombie like that. Father Odin. He is going to take shots at this bugger. So, two noise counters for him. And two more ammo. So, first shot, I am on a skill of three normally. Drops to two. No, sorry. First shot is normal, so it's three, five. So that misses. Second shot is two, three, four, five, six. So he's missed. So, Heimdall. He will fire with his assault rifle. So he's on two rate of fire, two ammo. Again, no, he's shooting at this one. So, first shot, three is on one, is nout. And second shot, two, three, four, five, nothing. Oh, good lord. Oh, I should be using other modifiers. I am a douche. Oh, I am a douche. I'll remember that for next time. Zombies don't try to dodge shots, so I'm on a, a plus to hit them. Uh, then we'll go with Fenris. I'll start remembering it now. So, two points for the shooting. Shoot him! I was worried that I, I had too many counters. <laughs> Guess what? Wrong! So, two and two. So his first shot, his firearm skill is three, but because his target is a zombie, it goes to plus one, so it's four. So four plus six is ten, so that's a hit. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Four. So it's not a kill, and so the assault rifle does a knockback of two. So that's two for the first shot, and the second shot is now four, goes to... Skill is three, plus one because this is on me, four, and then minus one because it's the rate of fire, so I'm on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes! So another hit on the zombie, and then let's see what damage we do, a five is a kill! First shot was just testing the waters. So that's a kill, 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 Barney McGill. And Freya... Mm, she can't see that zombie because of the phone box. However, she can see that horde coming towards her. Na, 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 na. Just to check the rules for selfish, selfless. Uh, may target and shoot any zombie in line of sight unless there's a zombie closer to another character in the group and in line of sight. Well, that's okay because there isn't. So all we have to do is check the range. What's the range of those riffles? Uh, surplus 18, so that is out of range. So she doesn't do anything. Whew. Close combat. There is no close combat. All of the noise, all of the time. Yike. That's pretty terrifying, that is. That's a lot of noise. So now, end phase. I don't have to test for bottling out because at the moment, everything's looking rosy. That's D6 plus two. Five. Uh, all is quiet. So now it turns to turn three. And it's the menace phase. Oh, it's the menace phase. It's the menace phase. Ah. Whew. Worn out. So, noise tokens. We'll start with the dog first. 
So one plus four is five, no noise, well nothing to worry about. Loki with a two plus six is six is eight, so something has happened. Eight. Tightened. If the target number is seven or more, take a zombie model and place it on the open table edge nearest to the model that drew it into the combat. <laughs> so, woo! Zombies from the zombie box. Now we were placing it at least nine in because of the table size. It might look like I'm playing on a big table, but I'm actually only playing on a small piece of the table. Uh, can zombies climb? Uh, let me just check this. What actions can a zombie do? I get a feeling I can't actually climb over things. I think I might have been cheating. Da -da 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 -da. Actions. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, that's okay then. Zombies and characters with the animal special rule can only perform actions marked with an asterisk. That's okay then, so I can climb. Albeit very slowly, I would have thought. Right, so it's going to be here. I'm just going to pull this fence to one side so I remember it's there because otherwise I'd forget that little zombie was sitting there. Okay, so here we are on plus three. Oh god. Plus another six. So we have another zombie. Open side. So he will be... Um, just going to move that tree out of the way from there. He's going to be... Uh, there. Memo to self, there's a zombie down there. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, next. Odin. Two plus three is five, so no zombie knows there. Uh, Heimdall. Two, four, five, six. Ooh, close, but no cigar. And then Fenris. Two, two, it's four. Nothing. So out of that, we had a couple of zombies turn up, but now we're off ammo. So, Loki, four, five, six, what's the ammo for the pistol? Ammo for the pistol. Uh, ten, so he's okay. Uh, ba -ba, SMG, SMG. Let's reload six, I'm on three. Ugh, so he has to reload. How do I do a reload token? You thought I would have thought of this, but I didn't because I'm stupid. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. And what I'll do, I'll just put that little dice next to him so I remember he needs to reload. Uh, Father Odin. Uh, la, 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 la. Surplus Assault Rifle, 10. So he's on four. Five, six, seven, he's okay. Here, we're on four. Five, six, seven, he's okay. Four. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. he needs to reload. Reloading uh, costs, I do believe it's three points. Do, 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 no, it's two points. Well, I can do that. I could have done that, you know, instead of shooting, but that's by the by. So, that's... The noise, town co noise counter's done, the uh, ammo counter's done, it's now zombies. Zombies. So they move, they're full whack, which is five. Ooh, that's so close. Ugh. No, it's not because it's got to go over the fence. Dupe. So it's two to climb up, two to climb down, and then one. Uh. That's not helpful. And then this one. Uh, morning. Oh dear. So then you go to there. Again, back over to here. All of the 
All of the noise. Zombies. Doop. 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 Ah, well. To safely say it's all gone horribly wrong would probably be about right. So, let's give you a little zoom in now, shall we? The Battle of McDooms! So, zombies have all had their move. So it's now me and what I intend to do. Mm. Mm hmm. La 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 la. Okay, so Doggo is moving this way. Parking like a bastard. So he's going to get to there. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is it to grab an item? Three points. Now, I just need to check because I think supply tokens do, are a heavy. Sounds about right. Supply tokens. I have the heavy two rule. Now I presume that heavy two would um, would thingy. Yeah, minus the number of action points. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's a heavy two. Oof. It's going to cost me three points if I want to pick it up. Unfortunately, it's not enough for me to... Mm. So... We're going to move to it and B and Q it. <laughs> so I move to there and hope I can kill the zombie. Okay, so Tia needs to reload. That's two points to reload. Two points to reload? Reload, reload. Yeah, two points. So click, clack, reloaded. Um, and then he's just going to move, because he's only got three left, to there. Father Odin is going to spend two points to reload because I do not want to be running out of ammo when these all hit me. So quick, clack clack, reload and he'll stay there. Heimdall has just noticed this bloody zombie here and gone, ah shit! Two points to reload and that will do for him. Come here, you bastards, thank you. <sighs> Fenris is going to two points to reload, and then move to there. Freya is going to move two to there and pick up those supplies. Supplies! <laughs> Boom. And then that's all she's going to do. Whew. Right. Shooting! So Loki, well we know for a fact what he's going to do. Even though he's selfish, he will be shooting that because it's the closest bloody thing to him. So, two points of noise. Two points of ammo. Skill is three plus one because my target is a zombie, so my number is four at the moment. Four, five, six, seven. That is a hit. Roll, see what damage we do. One. 
So that's only a point of knockback. So <coughs> second shot will be now my standard skill of three plus one is <coughs> not enough. So <coughs> just winged it. Might be enough to save me. Might not. Tear. Why did I give him a machine gun? Oh, because he's got a machine gun. That's right, idiots. So, three noise counters, three ammo counters. First one, it's going to get cover from this as well. So, target is, my skill is three, plus one for the zombie as being a zombie. So, that's four, minus one for the cover. So, it's three, four, five, six, seven. It's a hit. Roll for damage. It's a five. It's a fucking takedown. <laughs> Oh Tia, you the man! And my other shots are wasted because there is no other fucking zombie I can see. Boo! Right, let's go with Heimdall. As this zombie comes bursting out the trees. So, two shots. So first shot is a skill of four. Oh, plus five is nine. Roll for damage! One. And the knockdown value for a set of assault rifle is two. So. <coughs> and then my second shot will be at minus one. So I skill is three. It will go to four because the zombie drops down to three because of rate of fire. So three. Plus three is six. Oh, that's not good enough. Uh oh. So, Father Odin. Must I do everything myself? Yes, please. Two noise. Two of those. First shot. Three. Uh, four. Five, six, seven, eight. That's a hit. Damage is a Four, which isn't enough, but it's another two points of knockback. Puts it on to four. Four, put the four down, there we go. Um, my second shot will be at a base of three plus six <laughs> is enough, that's nine. What's the damage on that one? Motherfucking killed it! Oh, beauty! That is how you do it. I can just imagine you now just looking at Heimdall and just sighing. So, area secure hits here at the moment. So now, it's gonna be Fenris, who's gonna open up on the waitress. That wouldn't be the first time. Oh, the old jokes are always the best. So, two noise, two ammo. First shot with a skill of four, five, six misses. Second shot with a skill of three, five, six, seven, eight is a hit. Roll for the damage. It's a six, it's only a takeout. <laughs> Get out of it, zombie. And then Freya. Yep, yeah, she's gonna shoot the other one. So, Skill of four for the first one. Four plus four is eight. She has hit. Damage. It's a five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we've got this sus now. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've got him killed it. And the second shot can go on to the next zombie. I am just gonna check that. I'm pretty sure that is right. Campaign skills, special rules, honour and courage. Let's not have to roll any of that yet, shall we? Thank you very much. So her second shot will be on the other one, which will now be three plus six. Oh, she is on fire! Damage. It's a six! Oh, 
Oh. So two noise tokens and two ammo tokens. And that is how we play golf. So that is my turn done. Uh, end phase, I don't have to make any panic tests yet because I haven't lost anyone. Uh, so it's turn three plus five, that's eight, 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 eight. That body is moving. Randomly select one unsecured supply token and place a zombie in contact with it. The supply token will now move with the zombie. <laughs> oh shit. So, is it unclaimed? Is it un unsecured? Yeah, so. One, two, three, four, five. One. <laughs> oh shit. Just when you thought it was all going well, this one, as it's unsecured. Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh dear, Loki could be in a world of trouble there. So, turn four. It's actually quite a tense game when you actually start to play it. Hmm, okay. So, menace phase. So to start with, it's noise counters. So we'll do the dogs first. So one plus two is three, so nothing there. On Loki, two plus one is three. Nothing there. Tier three, four is seven. Guess what? Make room for the mushrooms. Here comes another one. Uh, uh, put there. Odin is on two plus five, seven. That's another one. Oopsie. Uh, Heimdall, two plus six, that's another one. Oh, bugger. Uh, no one said there was a horde hidden behind that tree. Um, uh, Rack, uh, Fenris, two plus two is four, nothing. And Freya, five, six, seven. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. That will be another one. There. Ah, <laughs> right, ammo, so, locate on four, five, six, what do we need for his pistol? Ten, so that's okay. Uh, down here, one plus is four, that's okay. Well, they're on ten, aren't they? Surplus assault, yeah. So Odin, six, eight is okay. Here, he's okay. What am I rolling for? I can't actually fail. Six, eight. Close though. So that's the zombies move. So, this zombie moves towards the closest target. Uh, aye! This zombie, with minus one. Oh, would you believe it? Just does not quite reach. Uh, now that goes. Uh, here, first zombie comes bursting out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh dear. You. Uh -oh. And then you. Bugger my face, bugger my face. Now I've got noises down here as well. You're closest, I believe. 21. Yep, so now these zombies are do a quick shuffle. Do the zombie shuffle. And these are now coming this way. Uh... Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, well, it was 
going okay. Oopsie. <sighs> hmm. Okay, <laughs> so, so I'm five and I haven't got any of the bloody things yet. <sighs> now. La 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 la. Low key. Now there is a special move you can do. Which is called break contact with the enemy. Because I'm in base to base contact and I don't. Oh no, I've got to do a courage roll and a horror roll. Oh, forgot about that. So we've got to do that now. Uh, so the zombie has a horror of three plus five. So that's on eight, and I've got a courage of two, three. So I cannot actually do that move because I think I have just failed. Quickly just check this roll. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Both models are D6 and add the respective task stat. If the horror total is greater than the panics as it grapples with the undead and may not use action points to break off the remainder of the turn, it's assumed to be simply fighting for its life instead. This makes the zombies sticky. Bleah. So he won't be able to do anything apart from. Um, cry like a little bitch, but he's going to get, he'll get an action in hand to hand combat. So that's something I suppose. So doggo makes a noise and then, uh, hands to hands. This doggo is going to go rah, 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 into there. Right, so, Tear. Oh, Tear, I can't help you, Loki, over there, I'm afraid, mate. Purely because I can't shoot into combat. Unless you, one of you has the larger target stat, and seeing as none of you do. Oh, well. Oh, and I've got to do down here as well. So, Heimdall, courage roll of... Six, eight, zombie horror roll of that, oh, zombie horror roll of that. He's actually okay. Wow. Right, so I'm going to come down to here and go with Heimdall first. His first action is going to be a break contact. So that's three points. And that allows me to move one inch away. Then I'm going to move another three inches back. Oh dear. Uh, Odin, yeah, falls to this. Odin skips back to there. Uh, <laughs> Fenris will move to here. And Freya, who's only got four action points, because she's carrying all the gear, is backing up to there. Tyr, oh hello, yes. Tyr is just going to step into there and go, I've got this! Whew. Right. So it's shooting. So she will shoot the building, will shoot that zombie there. So, two points of noise, two points of ammo, 
first shot is with a bonus of four, five, six, seven. Let's roll for damage. Two. So that will be knockback of two on the assault rifle. We'll put knockback of two on that zombie. And then the second one with a bonus of three, plus three is six, doesn't do anything. Ooh. Okay. So then, Fenris. Two points of noise. And two ammo. Selfish. They're a zombie to themselves. So that's seven. And that's mm, slightly mm, less. So let's shoot that one. So four plus four is eight, so that's a hit. The damaging is a five, kills it. And then next rate of fire will be into this one, which will be three plus two is five. No. No thing. Odin. There's zombies. So, two of them. Tia, take your ammo with you, mate. Because you forgot. Uh, two ammo. First one. Uh, number four. Plus two is six. Not enough. So, in three. Plus one is four. Not enough. Tear opens up, so three noise, three ammo, and first shot is a bonus of four, plus six is ten, that's a hit, damaging of four, so that's another two points of knockback. Do -do -do. Uh, then he'll shoot again, so he's now on a 3, plus 2 is 5, nothing, and then again 3, plus 6 is 9, so that's a hit, oh, that's a 1, so that's enough to knock that zombie, however, down. But he's made a shitload of noise, and just spaffing shots everywhere. Heimdall will shoot this one, so I'm on 4, plus 2 is 6. Not enough, so two noise counters, pop pop, two ammo counters, pop pop, and then the second one will be on three, plus five is eight, so that's a hit, and the damage is two, so that's two points of knockback. Oh dear. Well, that's really looking noisy and very messy. Okay, and okay. So now it's actual hand-to-hand -hand combat. What the hell? Hand-to-hand, -hand, how's that work? Pretty sure it's exactly the same. Do, 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 do. At their close combat characteristic. Yeah, okay, so down here then. So Loki is on a close combat of three plus six. Oh, is nine. Zombie, zombie is on a two plus two is four. So I win the combat. So normally you'd roll to add damage and everything, but this is different as opposed to fighting against the survivor. Again, it's just, oh, boop. But it's no knockback in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So... So I've done bugger all to that. Doggo has got a 
close combat of four plus two is six. The zombie is on two, three, four, five. So Doggo wins the fight against that zombie. Rolls a four. So chewing on it but not causing any damage. Wah, wah, wah. That is that. So end of the turn. I don't have to do any bottling out tests because I haven't lost anyone yet. Uh, it's turn four plus six is ten on the encounter table. Oh god. Horde inbound. For the remainder of the game, 1d3 zombies arrive whenever drawn, whenever a, a zombie is drawn to the table. Oh. Oh. oh dear. Oh dear, that's really not helpful, is it? <laughs> okay. So it's the noise menace phase. So Doggo has made one noise. One plus four is five. No extras over there. Father Odin is on two plus three is five. Nothing there. Fenris is on two plus three is five. Nothing there. Freya is on two plus five is seven. What? So that's D3 zombies this time. So that's two. And they will be coming on here. Oh dear. Uh, Tia, who's on three. Four, five, six, seven. Oh dear. Uh, that's bringing two, one, two, there's two zombies. And he's more here-ish, so they'll be coming in here. Uh, about, and then Heimdall is on two, three, nothing. <sighs> okay, so now it's noy, it's ammo. So Loki with four. Five, six, seven, eight, and his gun is on ten, so he's okay. Odin is on four. Five, six, seven, eight, he's okay. Fenris is on four. Plus five is nine, he's okay. Tier one, two, three, four, six. Plus one is seven, and an SMG is six. He needs to reload. Oops. See, it's what happens when you go blasting away, left, right, and centre. Uh, Freya, four, seven, and Heimdall, four, plus six is ten. Click, clack. Oh my god, I'm out of ammo and there's zombies about to bite my face off. So. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's the noise tokens done, the ammo tokens done, so now we get to move zombies. So, they're in combat. Uh, let me chew the doggy. Right, you have got two, so that only gives you a move of three, leaves you just out. Uh, and that then goes. You uh, gets to that, uh, and you two will come in. Come on, in you come to there. Who stands up? He stands up. These two. Uh, you come to there, and then this lot. Scuttling every day, the scuttling to there. Uh, what about poor NHS workers? Uh, not only do they have to work too bloody hard, all they get is a clap and then get turned into a zombie. Not fair. So, 
I've got to see if they've got any rolls to do. Here. So Zombie has a horror of two, plus one is three, and Freya has a courage of three, plus one is four. She ain't bothered. Oopsie. She ain't bothered by no stinking zombie. However, the rest of the place is falling down. So, my go. La 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 la. Okay, let's go with Loki. He's going to spend three points to break out of combat this time, because I can now. That's just that last turn I couldn't, so one inch back. Ooh. Then he's going to move three inches back to there. Oh, I am knocking everything over. They like an utter klutz. So he's going to move to there. And um, Doggo. Is Doggo? Can, can Doggo break? No, it can't. It's just going to sit and savage his face off, which is understandable because that's what they do. Okay, into here. Oh, hell's bells. Um, well, Freya managed to do her thing, so, oh dear, so she's going to move, break combat, so that's three points, and then she's only got one point left, so it's another inch, uh, so there, oops, get back zombie, so I haven't got enough to reload, I'm carrying gear, not happy. Uh -huh. Fenris is gonna is gonna reload. Duh. So that's two points. Click, 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 click. And then stay where he is. Father Odin is reloading. Come here, click, 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 and you click. And backing off a bit to there. Tear has to reload. That's two. And then back to there is all of his points. Oh, fuck up. So he has to reload. That's two. Four. Six. As he runs off around there as well. <laughs> Whose idea was it to come and raid this place? Because it was a stupid idea. That's what you thought it couldn't get any worse, there's some over there at all. <sighs> Bet he's up there having a real good giggle. Okay. So. Uh, that's action phase done. So now it is shooting phase. I'm going to start with Loki. Two. Ah, oh, see? Done it again. That tree is now going to stay down. Ugh. And so it's all the excitement. So first shot is on a four, plus two is six, misses. Second shot is on three, four, five, six, seven. That's a hit. Roll to damage the zombie, it's a bloody four. Ooch. So one point of knockback. Ah. <laughs> um. Odin, now, it's the closest zombie when you're selfish, nearest zombie to themselves. So, I think Father Odin might have just inadvertently helped Loki, which is fair enough. So, I'm just turn him around. His two shots with his rifle, bam bam. Two ammo, blam blam, into this zombie. The zombie's got partial cover. So, uh, first one is on a 
three plus one four the zombie is four and then minus one four to cover so it's three plus one is not enough and then second shot three two nothing blam 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 not good um Heimdall well it's going to be into these they are the closest so two and two so this one first uh, bonus four plus six is a big hit of ten and a six for the kill <laughs> and then my second will go into here so I'm on threes Plus four is seven. And it's a six for the kill. <laughs> Ooh, who the man? You the man. Okay, then it's tier. One, two, three noise counters. And three shots. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. And it's going to be on him first. So four plus five is nine. Damage is two. SMG does a knockback of one. Ew. Second shot on it. Uh, three plus three is six. And third shot on it. Not enough. Oh, bugger. Okay, Freya with two shots. So much ammo she's blasting out of there. So first shot is a bonus is a four, plus minus five, not enough. Second shot is three, plus five is eight, that's a hit. Oh, uh, it's only a knockback. Is it two for a two for a assault rifle? Yes, it is. So, um, that's going to be Fenris, and he's going to shoot this one because that's the closest one to him. So four plus minus five, three plus six is a hit, and a five is a kill. And Freya looks at him all lovingly and goes, "Oh, thank you." You have saved me! So, two and two. And that is the lot. We've got hand to hand down here with the dog. The dog is on four, plus six is ten. The zombie is on two. Can't beat me. Roll for damage. Two. Um, 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 um. Don't get into hand to hand combat, is my advice. <sighs> So, don't have to make any thingy tests because I haven't lost anyone. So it's turn five plus two is seven. Seven on the table. Car alarm. If there are any vehicles on the table within two inches of a zombie, they immediately have their alarms go off as in detailed in the rule book. Well, hold on a second. Let's just see what happens to this. Do do do. Come on and do the conga. Do do do. Shut up. You're not wanted. No one likes you. Car alarm. Car alarm. Car alarm. Um. I'm sure I've seen this somewhere. Car alarm. Excuse me one second, boys and girls. Car on, car on, car on, come on, where are you? Supply. Ah, special terrain. Could be really convenient to have these cars go off on it. Yes, yes, yes. Is there any steamy pieces of can on the table? Is it possible they go off? Well, it has gone off. Um, Councillors generate three noise tokens. Oof. So it's going to be one that's got a zombie closest to it. That one. Go away. 
you little bastard. So this car is suddenly on. Woo -hoo 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 and excuse me for one moment while I just go stab. Okie dokie. Jiggery and all pokey. So. Well, sorry about that small pause there, but for some reason the dogs have decided to sit right outside the door and bark. Which is great because of the sound effects. You see I've just changed the angle slightly because all the action is kicking off down here. Um, so it's turn six. And I had to get myself a cup of tea as well. <sighs> so turn six. Uh, start turn six, we're in the menace phase. So we all know what that means, don't we? Yep. Dice. So noise to start with. Low key is on two. Plus two is four, is nothing. Doggo should have had one. Nothing. Father Odin is on two. Five, nothing. Tia is on three. Seven, whack, whack, oops, now we know it's D3 zombies these days. No, 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 no. Oof. So it's another two. Tear is there. I'm going to move this bloody tree, that's annoying me now. So these will be coming on here. Mm -hmm. uh, Heimdall, oh, six plus two. There's more. Grab a couple of zombies, couple of zombies, couple of zombies, ooh, zombie. Okay, and then Freya, four, five, six, so she's okay, and Fenris, three plus two is fine, that's okay. Oh, but then the car alarm, which is on three, four, five, six, seven, woo! But it's too late because it's brought some more zombies. Another two. Let's have some different ones. Let's have some different figures. We've got enough of them. Get off. So they'll be coming on here ish. Uh. Okay, so ammo time. So Loki, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Uh, semi automatic is 10, 6, he's okay. Uh, uh, Father Odin on 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that's okay. Tear is on 3, 4, he's okay. Heimdall is on 2, he's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 6, she needs to change her ammo. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, spaghetti -o. And. Fenris, four, five, six is okay. So that's that, that, and that. So now it's the zombies doing their zombie things. So this one will move four. Uh, that then goes. This one. Oh, do, 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 do. Uh, Closest mm, uh, four because of that, that goes, and these will move five. Uh, 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 uh. So, will these all uh, and then these bug up. So, that's all the zombies moved. Oh boy, that looks quite terrifying. I'd say the one thing this game does to do is it does make a real good story points in it 
thing. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. There's some very nice little story elements you can bring into this. I do like it a lot, actually. So, it's my heroes. My heroes. So, let's go with Loki. So, it's going to have to open fire. Because I don't want to get chomped on by that zombie. So, uh, four plus six is ten. So that's a hit. Roll for the damage. Damage is a three. So that is one point. <laughs> it's only one point of knockback. Ba blam Second action will be on threes. Plus three is six. Not enough. Uh-oh. Father Odin is looking for the closest. It's going to be her. So, two noise, two ammo. She will get the cover. So, his first one will be on three, plus two is not enough. And the second one will be on two, not enough either. Oh dear. I would help you. Well, I would if I had two eyes. If I had two eyes, I'd be able to see properly. <sighs> I have no idea what I'm doing. So, Tia is going to open fire on this zombie. First shot uh, will be four, five, six, seven. So that's a hit for three, which is only a knockback. Only a knockback. That's the first shot. Second shot. Misses. Third shot. Ugh, misses. Why don't we put two there? That should be three on there. Uh, Heimdall is going to, funny enough, shoot that zombie that's trying to bite his face off. So, first one is a four. Plus four is eight. The wound is a four. Uh, la, 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 no, it's up one three knockback. And then again, no, missed. <sighs> oh dear. Um. Uh, right, so Freya. Freya didn't reload. Oops, I forgot to reload her. Oh dear. Well, if I forgot it, I forgot it. Tough tits. So, um, oops. <laughs> so Fenris will open fire on this one. Four plus four is eight, so that's a wound, and it's a two. So that's a knockback, so a blam. And second action, three plus three is six, not enough. Oh dear. That is suddenly, decidedly looking very, very ropey for the gang. Uh, doggo, four plus six is ten. Zombie, two plus six is eight. Doesn't win, but the dog does, and the dog does. No damage. Mm hmm. Hmm. So, end of turn. I don't have to make any bottle out tests yet. So, it's turn six plus six is twelve. Twelve on the table. Blind panic. The character closest to the battlefield edge must make a target number ten courage test or immediately make a run move towards the edge of the board. Yeah. So who's nearest the edge of the board? It's Loki. Okay, so target number of ten. My courage is two, so he can't make it. So he will. He's pegging it. What a chicken shit.
So that's going to be his actions, then, I suppose, for next turn. But it says... Immediately make a run move. So, if he had all of his actions, which would be six, he could move the full distance of 12. What a chicken! He's just gone, no, no, you know what, you know what, guys, screw you guys, I'm going home. Hop over a fence, runs away. Hello. Wow. Um. What a shit! That's horrible, he's left Doggo to die! Oh no! Well, the trickster god definitely uh, definitely proved his point there, didn't he? Wow, what a bastard! Hmm, okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> so, on that cheerful note, it's time to get cracking again. So, noise! Doggo would have made one. That's two. Nothing is okay. Father wrote in two, four, six, nothing. Uh, tier three. Oh, yes, he would make noise when he. Come on, motherfuckers! Come on! Oh, it's another two zombies. Come on, get me, bitches! Come on, I'm right here. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Okay, so that's him done. Uh, Heimdall, two. Oh, crap, on a bite more. Three zombies. All of the zombies. Oh, yeah. All of the zombies. Zombies, zombies, zombies. Zombies for days. Uh -huh. Freya didn't make any noise because she forgot to reload. And here, oh no, another six, plus two is eight, so yes, and another two, oh hell. This is one of those moments, this is one of those moments when it all goes horribly wrong, horribly wrong, horribly wrong. Ammo, Father Odin on four. Eight is okay. Six on oh, thingy with the machine gun. Machine gun, machine gun, machine gun. Come on. It's six. He needs to reload. Okay, and then Heimdall. Four. Oh god, he needs to reload. This was not what you really wanted, was it, guys? Not what you wanted at all. And Femris is on four. Oh, yuck. Guess who needs to reload? Everybody! And they're all going to die. So then the zombies move. So he. We'll come into Doggo. That goes. Uh, Doggo will need to do a courage test, but it's not going to run anyway. She moves into there. She's on horror of uh, two, 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 three, five, and he's got the courage of. <gasps> oh, that's high, isn't it? Oh dear, two. Three, so he cannot run away. Turn him round, just so we know he can't. Uh, this one will go boo into Freya. So three, five, and she is on three, six, so she's okay. This one will then come into here, that will go. Horror of five, six, seven, eight, and Fenris is on three, and it's on two, four, so he cannot run away. No, no, I want to leave. No, you're mine. Uh, 
these will move in as close as they can. Is a result you do not want to get on your uh, on your thing where they all just start bundling in wow wow oh oh wow is um oh wow <laughs> wow is a is a thing allegedly That's definitely a moment where it's all going wrong, isn't it? Oh, wow. Mind you, Loki doing that. Fuck you, Lois, I'm out of here. Okay. Would I have to do a test because Loki's done a runner? Hmm. Might have to try that at the end of this turn then. So. That's the Menace turn done. Hero turn. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh. <laughs> really don't know what to do. Ooh, well, he can't do anything. She can. So, I'm going to spend... Get off my finger, Corsi. Three points to break contact. So there. And then, she's going to... She's just at one point because she's carrying a bloody thing. <laughs> Father Odin, save me! Um. Oh dear, oh dear. Tear is going to reload. And then... And then... So that's two. They just... Move over to there because he's going to be opening fire on that lot. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. Dog ain't doing nothing. Ah, oh, crap. I'm just his father Odin. You're going to have to start thinning the herd, good sir. And it's closest zombies to you. We can't shoot them. Can't shoot that one. That's going to be those. You shoot. That one. There's no line of sight there, matey. So it's going to be into that group. So, oh, arse biscuits. So, two points of noise, two points of bullets. First shot is four, plus four is eight. Damage is a take out. <laughs> that is why I am your god. And then second shot will be onto the next one, which will be three, plus one is nothing. Bugger. That's... Oh no, she can still shoot, can't she? Oh no, she can't, because she's out of fucking ammo! Ooh, badge! Ugh. Tear can, though. So, tear. Three shots. Three of them. First shot will be into here. So, four plus five is nine. Damage is a five. That's a take out. That's one. Second one will be into uh, uh, that one because that's the closest. Uh, three plus three is not enough. And second, last one. No. Good oh year. That's pretty horrifying. Even if I do say so myself. So it's close combat. Uh, Doggo first. 
Is there more defiance? Oh yes there is. Ugh. Right, so attacking this one first. Um, zombie is on two. Plus six is eight. Doggo is on four plus one because it's fighting a zombie. Um, for six. And I've forgotten what I rolled for the zombie, so I'll just roll again. So zombie gets four, six, and a doggo got four. No, no, yeah. And the second one, zombie gets four for six, and doggo gets four normally, five for the zombie, goes back to four, minus one for the next zombie attack. Ugh, misses. So the zombies hit me. Oh, I get to do a thingy damage, don't I? Yeah. The strength of the zombie is. Strength of the zombie is three. Three. Gotta quickly just check this because it's hand in combat. What the hell, man? What the hell? Three. At the close combat, uh, defending player. They do damage. Uh, roll dice, add the strength of the attacker plus any modifiers, and then divide it by your endurance. So the zombie does damage of three, five, and my endurance is that. So Doggo takes a wound. And he's got an endurance of three. So Doggo, just put that there. Must remember, dig out some wound tokens and something for um, um, um reloading. That was it. Okay, so that's 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 that here. So the zombie is on. Dun, 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 Two plus six is eight. Oh dear. Heimdall is on two five. So Heimdall loses. So the zombie does strength of three six seven. That's nine. Oh, and my endurance is three. So that's three, six, nine. Uh, endurance is three, yeah, three, six, nine. That's three wounds. My damage is three. Oh, wow, Heimdall's gone down. Ugh, nom, nom, nom. Eat your brains. Eat your brains. And then into here, zombie is on two, three, and I am on. Three for five, so I win and I do six back. I killed the zombie in his hand combat. I'm a man, but I forgot. Um, that's end of the turn, so we have to check because my lot, I think, are broken. Well, they're gonna have to do a broken test. Breaking point. Right, check secret groups. So, for the reason, breaking point, something a leader may require to Yeah, maybe it's not face, but blah, 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 blah. To test. At the end of a close combat phase, I mean the aggressor, blah, blah, blah. Roll D6 and add the number of casualties the group has taken. The group is, if the number is less or equal to the combined courage characteristic of the group's leader and the remaining numbers of friendly fighters still on the table, they may continue to fight. So I've lost two. Plus one is three. Oh, I think we're okay. A leader may automatically fail this roll at the end of the turn. May choose to fail. Aha, that's also cool. As long as they've lost at least one. Okay, so let's have a look-see. How bad is it looking? 
it's looking pretty fucking grim. Okay, let's just roll, see what happens at the turn. So six, seven, eight for the event. Oh dear, so one of these is a body. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, it's this one again. I'm still a zombie. Oh no, because that would have gone with him. So it would have been another one, so that one. Oh, mmm. So it's another turn. And I think I'm going to be bottling out at the end of this turn unless something amazing happens. So, noise. So, Doggo would have made a noise because he's got one on him. One plus five is six, so he's okay. Uh, Odin, two, four, six, okay. Tia, three, four, five, seven. Ugh. Oh, bleed now, it's another, another three zombies. <laughs> well done, Tia, you bellend. He doesn't need to make any, he doesn't have any, and nor does he. So, what are we doing? What are we doing? Father Odin is going to spend two points to reload. Two. And move to there. Uh, Freya has only got an action four, so she'll go to there. Tia is going to hoof back to there. Jimmy McLado is going to reload. That's two, and then. To there and um, poor old doggo is just um hold on hold on hold on I forgot to move the zombies get back everybody it's zombies first mm. right so zombies first yes silly man so these are heading this way. You'll be heading that away. You will grab him. Two, three. Yeah, so he's okay, so he can run away if need be. However, this one goes into there. Horror of two, three, five. Courage of three, two. Four, so you can't run away. Then that one will come into there, and that one will go to there. This one will go. Grab you. So three, four for the horror, and she's got three. She's okay, she can still run away if she has to. Just flip her around that way. And then. Not quite. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it's got a whole lot worse. Oh, hello. And you will go Meh, with your goodies. These want dog meat, they want dog meat, they want dog meat because it's yummy. Well, that is a sorry sight, isn't it? Really is a sorry, sorry, sorry sight. So now it's the good guy's move. So he has reloaded and everything, and he would have moved to there. Um, oh shit. Okay, Tia is going to have to 
Spend three points to break from combat. And then three. It's gonna have to be there. Three and then three. He can't, she can, so she goes, uh, and then she's got to move a one left. No, 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 no. So she's still running. I can't reload because I just, oh, that's really sad. Freya's trying to run from the horde, but because she's carrying the supplies, it's slowing her down. Ah, oh, damn it! I hope it's worth it! Mm, I don't think it is, you know! So, Odin is going to... Two points to take a shot. Two of them. He's going to fire one into here. Four. That's a definite hit. And the wound is a kill. Blam! Then, his next one... It's six to there, six to there, five and a half, I go from the base edge. Oh, that one. So he shoots into this one, so it's three. Oh, fucking hell, that's another hit. Awesome, oh, Lee, a pokey little hit. Boop. And that's Odin done. Tear. he's going to shoot the closest to him. Sorry for her. It's that one, then it's that one, then it's that one. So three, one, two, three, and three ammo. Ah, first one then, so it's four, five, six, seven, that's a here wound, and the wounded is a five. Blam, she's dead. Right, second shot was then onto her. Uh, three. Uh, come on, skill of three, four because it's a zombie, three because it's my second shot, and three because and two because of cover. So two plus six is seven. T two plus six is seven. Eight, you idiot. But it's still a hit. And it's a kill. Oh my gosh. The blam, the blam. And then last one, two again. That's four, six. Not enough that time. And that's all of the shooting. So combat down here. So it's the zombie against the doggo first. It's with two. First it's four. Doggo is on four plus one because it's a zombie. So that's five, seven. So doggo wins. Doesn't do any wound. This zombie against the doggo. Two, eight against the doggo. Oh dear. Doggo's on four. Five because it's a zombie, four because it's an, another zombie, four, nine. Win for the dog. And a kill for the dog. As the doggo jumps up and rips its throat out. Uh, back to here. So, Fenris. This zombie against Fenris. It's on two. Five, six, seven. Fenris is on three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Doof. Roll for the wound type, it's nothing. And this zombie against me, same zombie, gets six, eight. And Fenris gets five, six, seven, eight. But it's minus one because it's another zombie. Uh, so strength three. Oh Christ, plus six is nine. And my endurance is three. So three, six, nine, it's three wounds. Oh, no, my face, my beautiful face. As he goes down. Oh, dear. End of the turn. And I think it's the only thing we can do is Hmm, let me see. You're down, you're down. Loki's done his normal thing of fucking the fuck off. Um, 
Mm. Oh, fuck this for a game of soldiers! Run away, everybody! Run away! Oh, yeah, he said it. Let's go! Uh, but I'm carrying this very heavy thing! Uh, uh, fuck that, I'm dropping it! Uh. Wow! Oh, boy! That is what we call in the trade messy not Lionel Messi because he's a footballer but um, hideously messy in fact hello wow um, <laughs> what did I learn from that you ask <sighs> um, don't, don't don't play it solo with lots of automatic weapons <laughs> was an awful lot of fun. I mean, yeah, I'm sure there are some rules I did wrong. That's what I do. That's what the Battle Hammer specialises in. We specialise in fucking everything up. Um, but I'll tell you what, that really is a shitload of fun. Um, yeah, I lost two people. That's a bit messy. What you do in the campaign is you then roll to see what happens to them. Shall we just do that? Just, just for a giggle, just to see what would have happened as my boys then run back to the church. So, let's just roll these then. So, uh, Fenris, who was doing his best to try and save uh, Freya, bless him. Uh, three. Captured. Hmm. Well, that would have been dead, wouldn't it? Come on, because zombies don't capture people for later. He would have been chewed up and gone, nom, 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 nom. This is like a war. Nom, 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 fresh takeaway. Nom, 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 nom. Chomp, 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 chomp. Meanwhile, Heimdall, nine, shell shocked. Oh, he'd be at minus one to his action points from here on in. That would be a bit fucking scary. But yeah, so he basically goes, oh, it's this little go, fresh meat, and he goes, oh, oh, wait for me, I'm, I'm slightly mad. And this slot would just, nom, 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 Oh, please save a piece for me. Nom, 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 nom. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <sighs> well, I love it. I think that's a lot of fun. I love that. Um, I love the way you don't have complete control over your guys, but they kind of revert back to their normal way of thinking when they're not having to fight against another gang. That's a great little mechanic. I really like that. Um, it's got good feel to it. Good feel to it. It'd be interesting to see how it works when you when there's another um, survival group. You're, you're both fighting over the goods and you've got the zombies to worry about. It, yes, it, it's got a smattering of kind of zombie side feel to it and a bit of the Walking Dead feel to it. Um, you don't, you're not too scared of the zombies to start with. You're like, nah, nah. But once they get onto you, ooh, <laughs> they kind of make a mess. So, well done, Mr. Ashbaker. Barker, sorry, I can't, I can't read it today. I'm knocking everything over today. I must be coming out of a period or something. Complete mess. But no, well done, Ash. Um, it's a great little system. I do like it. I like it that much. I've gone and bought some new vehicles for it because I've only got... I used to have a whole load of paper ones because I made a whole city out of paper card. Um, I had a whole load of vehicles, fire engines, everything that I've made out of card. Um, but then ended up with the move, this is the first time this lot's been out since we've been in a new place, um, I must have thrown a load of them out because I can't find them. So I just got and bought some nice new ones. So there you go. That's a really good game. That's a lot of fun. Me and Parker, when we get together, that's, we're gonna have a lot of fun playing this one. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. If you spot all the rules I, I made, I did wrong, put a comment down below. I won't read it, out of spite. <laughs> But I might if it's, if it's going to help me in the future. So thanks for watching. And as usual, guys, you know the one thing that you can do. What is that one thing you say? Well, you can. <gasps>
Like and subscribe if you liked it and want to subscribe. If you don't like it and don't want to subscribe, you don't have to like and subscribe. But I would love it if you liked and subscribed. And until next time, stay hammered and stay away from the zombie horde.